How would you like to see your life and the world with new eyes? I want to share a story today about a man who learned to see, both in terms of eyesight and vision of life. And before I finish today, many of you will have an improvement in both of these. I was born in Ballarat, an old gold mining town in Australia. At 17 years of age, I turned to Tony, my friend at school, and said, I can't see the blackboard. And I borrowed his glasses. Before the end of the year, I had my own glasses, which I wore full time. And over the course of the next 15 years, I had five increases in strength of my glasses. As so over time I was 32, I was given a thick multifocal pair of glasses. And I went back to the optometrist and I said, these feel too strong. You'll get used to it. What do you expect for someone in their mid forties? I was only 32. I actually panicked. What was going to happen to my eyes by the time I was in my 40s, 50s, 60s? And it was at that moment I knew I had to do something about my eyesight. And so I started exploring what I could do about my eyes. And within two months, I got out of reading glasses. And with six months, I passed a driver's license with 2020 vision. And that was exciting. And I really looked at this whole area of eyesight and people started asking me, how do you do that? And I started teaching little groups of people how I did it. I got so excited, I did a master's of education looking at computers and eyesight and the detrimental effects that glasses actually have on our eyesight while we're at the computer. And in my study, I found out that if you use a computer more than two hours a day, it's going to have a detrimental effect on your eyesight. How many people here use a computer more than two hours a day? You know, four hours, six. A lot of us are using a computer all the time. And the statistics I found out when I first started this were that 50% of adults wore glasses. By the time I finished my master's 10 years later, it had gone up to 50% of the population. We are currently at 67% of the population. And by the time we get to 50, it's 90%. Nine out of 10 people are wearing glasses. And most people go, well, that's just the way it is. You know, that's what happens. You've got to wear glasses, you get middle age. What would happen if you hurt your foot and they gave you crutches and they said, make sure you wear these crutches for the rest of your life? You'd probably get a second opinion. And yet we accept wearing glasses as a norm. There is something you can do about it. And the easiest thing we can do is a process called palming. Now I'm going to show you this first, whether you're here at home, and then I'm going to get you to do it. Before that, have a look around. Just notice how good is your eyesight. And you're wearing glasses, maybe take them off for a moment. And what I'm going to do in a moment, I'm going to get you to rub your hands. And those people at home rubbing their hands, like everyone here, I said, wait until I tell you to, in the second time. So we're going to rub our hands, we're going to cover our hands like that, we're going to cover my closed eyes, <sighs> and we're going to breathe. Drop our hands, touch the corners of our eyes. Drop our hands, 
and then just open our eyes and notice a difference. So let's try that together. So this time we're going to rub our hands, get a couple of them, cover your closed eyes, <sighs> and just notice how you feel inside. Is it, you know, feeling a bit more comfortable? And then very slowly drop your hands, just touch the corners of your eyes, drop your hands and open your eyes. Do you notice a difference? Okay, show of hands, who notices a difference when they open their eyes? And there's over half the room here. Right, just that one exercise. And the thing I tell people, the more exercises I give you, the less likely you are to do them. So I've given you one exercise to do. And if you could do that every day, you will notice an improvement in your eyes. Think about it. We clean our teeth every day. What do we do for our eyes every day? And so I'm going to invite people to look after your eyes every day by doing palming. It is the easiest thing that you can do. I want to go back to the story about this man. He passed a driver's license with 2020 vision, was so excited. And the optometrist who tested his eyes said, come back, I've got something to show you. And he came back and he wanted to test my peripheral vision. And he started testing and I'm waiting for him to turn the machine on. And he said, what's going on? And I said, I'm waiting for you, the machine, there's nothing going on. And we found out that I had zero peripheral vision. Two weeks later, I was operated on for a brain tumour on the optic nerve. And they said you shouldn't be able to see. This started a journey where seeing an eye chart became less important than seeing life. And I had to really look at in my life, what was it that I didn't want to see and start looking at that. And so I spent years doing every course I could find, every healing course, every kinesiology course, trying to fix myself. And it was only really when I came to acceptance that change occurred. At one point I left and traveled the world for five months looking for answers. And I came home with, again with a lot of knowledge, but no change. And then it hit me. The difference and the way for me to move forward and to see differently was to raise my vibration and my frequency. And I recognized that there was a difference because I'd done all this personal development work and was broke and not in a relationship. And I'm thinking, what's going on? You know, here I am doing all this spiritual work every day. What's happening? And so I recognized there's a difference. The vibration is that level of consciousness to spirit, that internal what's going on. The frequency has to do with the law of attraction about how we attract stuff out in the world, health, relationships, money. And I recognized that even though my vibration was quite good, it could be higher, my frequency was well down. And I started working on both. And when I worked on both, my entire life changed to something that I could not recognize anymore. And then what I did is I took all this knowledge and the work that I had and I created an energy system called light body alignment. And what was really good about this system is it could clear blocks really quickly. And what I'd use is what I call now a vision statement to help clear those blocks, literally in a matter of minutes. 
And we're actually going to do that today. We're going to demonstrate how this operates. And you might see me like clicking my fingers like that. But what we're doing is we're actually shifting energy vortexes around the body to put them back into alignment so that we get to not have the stresses that have been attached to it. And what I normally do is muscle test every time someone says something, clear it, and then test it again to make sure that it's cleared. So I have a vision statement I want to try with everyone in the room here and with everyone who's watching. And so if you could repeat after me, please. I choose to see with eyes of love. I choose to see with eyes of love. Okay. Now you might think that's a great statement. Many of you don't actually believe it. So when I muscle test, he was like, yeah, I'd like to think that but I can't really embrace that. And so what I'd like to do, if you notice a difference in yourself with this, just become aware of what difference there actually is. And so what we're going to do is this process, and you might want to just feel in to see what, what change there is in here. And now I want you to say again, I choose to see with eyes of love. I choose to see with eyes of love. Could you hear the difference in the room? Even the way everyone said it in the room was actually together and it was actually more harmonious. It had a tone to it. Now, the beauty of this work is it works beyond space and time. So normally I'll be working one-on-one -on -one with someone, maybe on Zoom in a group of people, and it will clear it for that person, it will clear it for everyone in the room, and it will clear it for everyone who's listening to the replay. So just take a moment and feel in to see if it feels different. Yeah. And that's the difference. So that young man who couldn't see the blackboard and couldn't really see the dysfunction in his own family or in himself is now a life visionary. He has written six books on vision, produced and starred in a movie called Vision 2020, From Eyesight to Inside, and is the Chief Vision Officer of the visionschool.org, which has over 20 classes on clearing blocks on a whole range of topics. And by the way, I no longer have a brain tumour. You too can improve your eyesight and your vision of life. And you can do this by relaxing your eyes every day through palming and by truly seeing through eyes of love. 